Hi there, I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. Sort of. I've divided the RuneScape map into 18 regions, all with their own custom-built task system. These tasks provide rewards to me, such as XP and supplies. Every week, I will randomly select one of these regions and I'll be locked to it for 9 hours. Once up, my inventory and ward equipment will be wiped. My bank will be operating on a store-only basis, which means I can never take items out of it. I have compiled a list of RuneScape bosses and the goal of this series is to kill all of them at least once. With every boss killed for the first time, I'm awarded either the choice of an additional region every week or the ability to carry over one inventory slot every single week. Lastly, all of this content will be streamed live at twitch.tv forward slash MrFrogRS, so be sure to join in. If you need any more information, make sure you check out the description, or just leave a comment. Without further ado, I bring you... Regional Rumble! Regions. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Well, I mean, the first region was good. We did also get known, by the way, for the video, but I did have to re-roll it, as I said, so the wheel might look a bit funny on some of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could, I've got stuff that I could do in these. I don't know how great it is for content, but there is definitely stuff that I want to work towards in these regions. So, um, I will we'll just get to it, I suppose. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Regional Rumble. This week we have Sears Village, um, the Fremie Lands, uh, the Trolllands. Um, not the greatest selection of regions for video content, I'm going to be deadly honest with you. Um, the one thing that is clear to me here, and is going to be clear to all of you watching, <laughs> is, is Barbarodosaur. Right, and I know every time I get in this region I just spam Barbarodosaur. Now, the first thing is, I love the minigame, so that's why I play it a lot. But secondly, it does give us another opportunity to get raw sharks from it. Um, we have nine hours, and I kind of want to spend the entire time doing BA. The only problem with that is that this video is going to be a lot shorter than most, um, because I'm not really just going to show BA runs over and over and over again. That's just going to be boring for content. So I don't really know what I'll put in this. Um... I don't necessarily plan to do it for the full nine hours before spending the points. I might get like halfway in and then spend the points and if we don't get the sharks, we'll carry on. But the reason for that is because if I do get the sharks halfway through, I don't want to waste nine hours doing BA that I didn't need to do. I mean, I guess it's not wasted because I've got to max out the points and get all the collection log anyway, but... Regardless, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. I've started myself in Sears. We're just going to teleport up to Barbarian Assault. And, um, yeah, I mean, we've got ourselves somewhat of a private team. We're just waiting for the last person. So hopefully this should be fairly swift. I don't have the best stuff. Uh, I've decided not to get a bow because I can do a tackle with a scimitar if I really need to. But realistically, I'm going to try and do other rolls anyway. So shouldn't need to worry about a bow and arrows or whatever. Um, I shouldn't need to worry about anything else, hopefully. And, uh... I'll get some BA done. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to show, so I'll probably see you guys in a few hours when I've actually got some uh, some progress done. I, I don't know what's, what the next clip's going to be. See you there. So I just checked the chalkboard, and uh, I've got level 5 in every single roll, and apparently doing this uh, ticked off the elite task and the cannery arrow. Now, I did know it was going to do this. I just didn't realize I was maxing every roll. I was uh, still thinking I had a few more to get. We've got 2.1k defender points as well. I've basically just been farming that. Um, I guess mostly because people don't like doing it, and I don't really mind. Um, I'm probably going to stack this up until, I don't know, maybe the four hour mark. And then I might start claiming them and see if we can get the sharks then. Um, I don't I don't know. It'll probably just be how it goes. I'm going to be doing some of this with a pre-made team and some of this with randomers, depending on when people are available. We have done two runs so far. Uh, they're not the greatest, i got to be honest. Like our runs, 2720. Not amazing. We definitely could be doing them faster, but 
BA is BA, and uh, I'll get myself some more defender points. Let's go. So after doing a bunch of BA with a pre-made team, I did try and do some off-stream uh, with some randomers. But if you guys have ever tried to do BA with randomers, you'll understand how inconvenient that can get. And uh, just shown by the clips on screen, it didn't go all too great. Got to wave two and had to reset. So, yeah. Gotta love world six. Hey, we finally managed to complete a run with a random team. Not too bad, not too bad at all. 23 minutes and 3 seconds. Can't complain too much. Uh, I do prefer doing it with pre-mates, obviously. But, um, you know, if it needs to be done, I'm going to get it done on World 6. So that's another run done. And let's get ourselves some more points. And that's going to just about do it. 19 minutes and 9 seconds. This is with a, like sort of half randoms, half... People that I know um, didn't have enough people to um, set up a proper team today. But that's going to just about do it uh, for what we're doing for now. Let's have a look at the points and see. We have 3,165 defender, 565 attacker, and 2,177 healer, which means I can do a total of 11 gambles. So, uh, I believe it's 1 in 32 to get the sharks. We, uh, we did do some rolls before. I don't know how many. I think it was like six, maybe. So we're somewhere around there. And uh, we managed to get the D-Med last time we did this. So this could be uh, interesting. We're going to go ahead and use these gambles. And uh, this is really decide on what I do for the rest of this episode. And I really, really hope we get the Sharks. Because getting this done is a monumental achievement. It might seem like a tiny thing. But getting the Fremi Trials completed would be absolutely amazing. So... Let's get rewards, and let's see what we can get. 27 queen kills saved up. I don't know what that cap's at. Uh, I hope I don't ever hit that cap. But anyway, go ahead and gamble the first time, I guess. We'll just shoot up the attacker ones. What do we get? 20 runite ore. Yeah, so I was on six before. I was, I was right, so that's seven rolls. All right, we'll go again. We've got 10 more that we can do. Gamble again. We'll do defender points. Got quite a lot of them, so. Next roll. Okay. More runite ore. Just got that back to back. Okay, I would like the raw sharks, please. We'll do another roll. Defender points. And we get a granite helm. I don't, I don't want to know what the odds are. <laughs> I'm just not even going to look. But that's a collection log item, I guess. I mean, I don't have the little pop-up on this account, but... We've got a granite helm. <laughs> okay. Not quite the D-bed, though, so, you know. Not going to replace it. Defender points. Again. What do we get? Three Snapdragon Seeds. Okay. Not quite what I'm looking for here. Defender points again. An archer helm. Which, guess what? We can't use uh, because we haven't done the quest. And that's the whole reason we're doing this. Right, we've still got, what, two, four, so six? We've got six more rolls. And this one we got. 15 runite bars. I'm not liking this. I am really not liking this. It's not so much to ask. 24 ranots. <laughs> not entirely useless. We can make prayer potions. I don't really know what I'd use them for, but we can have a look. Anyway, it's, uh, defender points are used up, I think, so we'll go healer now. Please, come on. Rune Kite Shield. Uh, I guess I could use it for now. It's going to get wiped at the end of the uh, week, but... Uh, healer points again. Black Dragon Hide. we got two more rolls to get the Raw Sharks. Please. Come on. What do we get? Dragon Bones and an Elite Clue. Well, this is our final roll. Otherwise, we're going to have to do more Barbarian Assault. 
So, give me that gamble. Please, the Raw Sharks. Come on. Another 20 run at all. Well then. In 11 rolls, this is what we got. Not quite what I was hoping for, gotta be honest. Um, I mean, 1,545,000 GP. It's not terrible, but <laughs> I can't really do much. I think the only things I can use are the Runkai Shield, which is quite nice. The Ranars, if they allow me to keep them, because I'm obviously going to want to do more... Nice genie random. I'm going to want to do more Barbarian Assault, so if it doesn't let me keep them, I might just stash them, because... Yeah, they're useful, but I really need these sharks, and it's really painful that we're not getting them. Uh, have a look at the elite clue. I don't even know who that is, and I'm not even going to bother to check, because there's no way we ever did an elite clue, and it should be a waste of my time. The rest of it's going to get stashed, including the granite helm, but it's on the collection log, so I guess there's there's always that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that we don't have the sharks. I'm kind of gutted, because it means I've got to do... More BA. I mean, that sounds bad. I mean, I'm not gutted that I have to do more BA. I'm gutted that I don't have the sharks to present to the uh, the video. And also to get Fremi Trials done. Because that's something I really, really want to just finish off. And the worst part is, no matter what regions we get next week, we won't be able to finish Fremi Trials anyway. Because it would be Fremi three weeks in a row. So that means we can't roll it next week either. So, um, it's not looking good. we got three hours, 37 minutes left. I'm probably going to do like another two hours of BA or something. And then um, we'll do some more rolls. And if we don't get it then, then uh, this is basically just an empty episode. And uh, RNG has uh, screwed me over. But RuneScape does that. Sometimes RNG is horrible. But I mean, I guess it's like one mil to add to the, the bank wealth. Which, by the way, is currently at 1.89 mil of all the things that I've thrown away. Pretty cool. Okay, plot twist. Uh, not doing any more BA. Uh, the actual previous clip that I recorded, I said I was going to, and then I completely changed my mind because I realized I actually have really good access to doing something else. Today, we are going to attempt to get a boss kill, and that is going to be Dagonoff Prime. Uh, I come to the realization that I've got pretty good regions to get myself set up some okay range gear, and I also have access to this, which has money in it. Let's see how much we've got. 339k. I'm not going to need any more money than that. And we do have 24 Ranals that we got from a gamble, so I've got prayer potions. So I think we're quite well equipped to try this. Now, I'm not saying this is going to go well, but I am saying this is probably one of my best chances to do it. So I'm going to take out 100k from here. Might be more than I need, but I want to leave some money in there anyway. So we've got a big list of things that I need to prep first. We need to get ourselves the stuff of prayer potions. We need to get ourselves, ourselves a uh, teleport out because the most important thing is I do not want to die in there. So I need to get some like law runes and air runes so I can teleport to Camelot if I need to bail. Uh, we need some rune thrown axes, which we can get from the ranging guild because we have seers. Uh, we're going to need some arrows, which again, ranging guild. Uh, I've got all the stuff to make a bow because again, you know, seers gives me access to that. Um, we're going to go to Pura Pura and try and get the air runes for the teleport, like I said. And uh, one thing that has kind of uh, concerned me when I was theorycrafting this is how scarce vials are in the areas that I have. Originally, I considered it's fine, I have access to charter ships, I can just make the vials myself with molten glass. Now, the only problem with this is that to make molten glass, you need a furnace. And as far as I'm aware, I don't have a furnace within these regions that I can actually use. I think the only one I have access to, not counting the blast furnace, which doesn't work the way a normal furnace does, is uh, Releka, and I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to use it until I've done the quest, so I wouldn't even be able to make Molten Glass if I bought the items. But, thankfully, there is a shop just over here that sells not only vials, but also a pestle and mortar, which is going to allow us to make an anti-poison later. So, very convenient. There we go, there's the pestle and mortar, and uh, we're just going to buy one empty vial for the pack, just for the sake of convenience, so I can have it noted. And um, there we go, we got ourselves some equipment. I've got to get a whole bunch more stuff, and it's going to include me going to Raleka and running all over the map. But I'm going to cut that out for the video. We're going to get ourselves some gear ready. And uh, hopefully, I, I think we've got a good chance of getting this kill. It's going to be pretty scuffed, but we're going to have a lot of prayer potions, so I can basically stand there for a long time firing. And I'm also going to go for a longbow, so that I've got less chance of being picked off by Supreme, because I think that's probably going to be the game changer. If he does start on me, then, well, then I think the kill's over and we'll have to leave, so... 
We definitely want to avoid that. So uh, I'm going to grab all these items and I'll see you once I'm somewhat geared. All right, so we filled up with snake grass from Waterbuff Isle. Uh, the beautiful part of this is that I can actually note these with a leprechaun. So what we're going to do is going to head down to like Catherby or... Actually, you know what I'll use? i use the leprechaun in the hops patch just northwest of Sears Village. And I'll note all these up so we'll get a lot more space in the inventory. And then we can go get some of the other equipment. I kind of wish I'd dumped some of these items before so I could have picked up more snake grass. But I, I think this amount of prayer potions will probably cover it. I think if I go for many more than that, I'm actually just going to be wasting immense space that I should be filling with food. Because you've also got to bear in mind, I'm going to be taking chip damage from spinal lips the entire time. So as much as prayer is going to be useful, I will need some food to sustain the spinal lips. So I don't want to completely fill my inventory of prayer potions. Right, quick pit stop into Sears. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to dump some of these items that we don't want. Um, they're just going to... I could sell them at shops, honestly, but I have money. I don't really care. I can't be bothered. So we're going to dump them, dump them, dump that. Can't even use it. This is just a funny item. Not going to use that. There's no use for this either. Uh, no use for this. These are going to be used, obviously. I think I'm going to bury these for XP. So what we're going to do is just do this. It probably hurts to watch, but, you know, prayer XP is prayer XP, right? So we're going to bury all these dragon bones. And we'll have a nice clear inventory to use. Uh, got myself an axe from Aleka as well. I actually completely forgot about that in the last clip, so I did run back and get that. Uh, there's a spawn within the rock crabs, which saves me having to kill barbarians, which I believe I did before to get the axe. Uh, that was brutal, so I'm glad I didn't have to do that again. All right, next up, now that we've cleared up the inventory, it is time to head over to the Ranging Guild, and we'll get ourselves some gear from there. And uh, we're going to be looking pretty snazzy pretty soon. Okay, so to maximize invent space, we are going to be ditching the Runekite Shield. Now... I was contemplating keeping it, but it's gone now. Uh, the reason I wanted to keep it is so that if we got the boss kill, uh, we'd have a carryover, and it would be good. It'd be nice, but I don't want to risk losing the boss kill because I'm wasting the extra inventory slot. I'm sure we can get another one again in future, or maybe something else that's even more useful for a carryover, but for now, I really don't think holding on to it is the best idea. But what I want to do is head over to Pura Pura and try and catch some Ecolectics, so let's find ourselves a Crop Circle. I think that was a Ninja in plane. Not that I can catch them. All right, apparently it's impossible to find a crop circle, so we're going to go kill air, uh, uh, kill air elementals instead, and hopefully we can get some air rune drops from them. Uh, I did go and get some bronze arrows, which I'm also going to use to kill the hobgoblins with, because I don't really want to waste the adamant arrows, which, by the way, we've got 500 of to kill Prime. It might seem a bit excessive, but I cannot pick up the arrows while I'm killing him, and I really, really, really do not want to run out, so I've definitely overprepared, but I've got the money to do it. I've still got another 200k in Blast Furnace, so I'm not too worried about the money right now. And uh, like I said, we're just going to try and get ourselves some air runes. also need lore runes from uh, Hobgoblin so I can get the emergency teleport. And uh, that will set us up mostly. I've got a few more bits to do, like some prayer potions, get the anti-poison and some food. But apart from that, we are nearly ready to take on Dagonoff Prime. Sweet, that only took like three kills. Air runes obtained. Let's go and sort out the rest of our stuff and get geared. We got the Irrit before we got the Marantil. That is so good. I'm going to kill this next one anyway, but... That's a super anti-poison done. I did not expect to get the air at first. I thought that was another one then. <laughs> That's going to go mad. Right, so we've got ourselves a super anti-poison basically right here. I'm just going to make it into the potion. Uh, we'll clean that and get rid of it. But that is a super anti-poison. So three doses of super anti-poison is 18 minutes worth of uh, immunity. So hopefully that will be good enough. I didn't want to make the regular anti-poison because it's just too short. But that is uh, the anti-poison made. And there's only a few more things I need. I think what I should probably do next is head over to Raleka and try and get the Lauren from the Hobgoblin. And then I basically just have to gear up all the food and stuff and uh, we'll be ready to go. This has been a lot quicker than I thought it would be. We've still got just under three hours left to go. I thought this was going to take me forever, but hey, -oh, let's, over to head over, uh, let's head over to Hobgoblins. And uh, hopefully the Lauren doesn't take too long because that's the last bit of RNG we're going to need. So I've just been informed that air elementals actually drop lore runes more commonly than uh, hobgoblins. I think when I was doing my research, I did notice this, but I think I just got the air elementals confused for the air wizards that are south of Falador. And I just thought, you know, obviously it's in Falador, I can't go there. So I that's why I skipped over it. But I've just teleported as I was informed this. So I'm going to head back down to Sears and we're going to kill air, air elementals instead of the hobgoblins because hobgoblins are kind of brutal. Um, and uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I mean, like I said, we've got plenty of time. I've done this way quicker than I thought I would have done. I also kind of don't need the maple shortbow because I'll be killing the elementals with uh, melee. So that's kind of redundant now. But I will clear out this inventory once I've got 
all the other stuff sorted and I know that I've covered everything because I know what I'm like. I will drop things early and then I'll realize I need them later on. So we're not going to rush to anything like that. We are going to get ourselves some lore runes from the air elementals and then uh, we'll have access to a Camelot teleport, which is our escape teleport. And not to mention our way out after we get the kill, assuming we get the kill. There we go. Got ourselves one lore rune. Do I want to go for a second one? Uh... Do you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. I might as well just keep the one. I don't think I'm going to have time to do two attempts, so... I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can just go get another one, right? With the option. Also got two nature runes, which isn't going to do me any favours, but... I'm just going to drop them. We're going to drop that. We clear out all of this. We are basically done. Uh, we just need to sort out the food and prayer potions, obviously, and then make the super anti-poison. But apart from that, I think I'm done. Um... I'm going to go for, I don't know if I mentioned some video, but it was just for stream, but I'm going to try and fill up on swordfish. Originally, I was going to use stews to save time. Uh, I considered lobsters, but it wasn't much of a gain in hit points. But because of how much time we've got, I think it might be worth investing into the extra few hit points from swordfish. So I'm going to go ahead and try and fish as much of that as I can. Um, I'm going to do it before making the potions, so I've got more invent space to work with. Um... Obviously, I'm not going to need that many swordfish, but I'm going to be getting tuna as well. So it's going to be nicer just to work like that. So let's get to some fishing. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a harpoon from here. And uh, I guess it's time to try and catch some swordfish. Well, I was fishing, got a uh, genie random, and uh, that's 33 Slayer, apparently. Now we can kill harpy bug swarms, as uh, Verf would say. Nice. Right, so this is our setup. We have got ourselves nine prayer potions and uh, what's this, like 13 swordfish. Tried to get the balance just right. I don't know entirely if this is going to be perfect. Uh, we did some calculations. It really depends on how long the kill takes. This will last 18 minutes, which I'm fairly confident is longer than I'm going to need. So we're hoping for that. Um, oh, I just realized this is a blast furnace world. So that, I guess that is convenient. I need to make sure I've got at least 1k on me. So oh, do I really have to pay for this? Whatever. We need 1k to get there, so we're going to do 39, 43. There we go, we've got 1k. Right, so let's get out of here before it uses all my money. I just realized I was hopped onto a Blast Furnace World. Kind of convenient, really, because I have to be on there to store the money anyway. But yeah, so this is our setup. Obviously, I'm not going to drop the Rune Scimitar, even though it would give me extra inventory space. It's my carryover. I want to make sure I keep it. Got the axes. Um, I'm going to just put out there that I will be allowing someone to let me through the first door. Uh, UIMs on, like, regular UIMs can do it, so I'm allowing myself to do it. Basically, the rule is, if a regular UIM can do it, I'm allowed to do it as well. So, I'm um, going to try and walk most of the way so I've got plenty of energy, because I've got to do the run through the tunnels. But apart from that, this is, uh, this is what we're going with. I'm confident. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Um, I just hope that I don't get absolutely torn to pieces by the spine lips. That is my biggest worry. And, uh, of course, actually getting in the room in the first place, because that could be a problem if I take too many hits from uh, Supreme trying to set it up. So, uh, wish me luck. Let's get going. Okay. I remember how to do this, but I think it's this one. Pew, pew, pew. Right. I'm going to be taking this in steps, so we're going to go up. We're going to get our energy back, and then we're going to continue. I want to try and do this paste calculated not rushed because rushing is only gonna cause me to mess up and then i'm gonna get really annoyed so we're gonna wait for some energy here all right the spawns are still there i'm gonna take damage but there they are oh my god that was more than i'd have liked and i turned my prey on too late <laughs> I think this one's melee oh and this one's range next one's melee oh i messed that up this one's melee there we go Go for the run. Good old bursting lobs. I don't go straight down. I don't want to do that. Look at that ninja skill. Cool. I'm going to move to the uh, safe spot. This one. I'm trying to take it slow and steady because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, let me just do this, this. Right, this should work then. We go in here, we take a bit of damage on the way down, but whatever. Prime's alive, but Rex is in a corner. 
Okay. We should be fine from Rex. I got poisoned instantly. Should be okay. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot more damage than I thought I would. Holy crap. Come on! <laughs> Just get the damage! There's so many spider lips. No, there's so many of them! Stop! Leave me alone! <laughs> there's so many! <laughs> yeah, but if they suddenly hit, I've got 40 hit points. This is so risky. Look how many of them are on me. I'm putting a defensive prayer on. Because at this point, I'm not going to run out of prayer. I'm going to run out of food. This is not going well at all. My DPS isn't bad. It's getting hit so much that's the problem. And to think I was originally going to tank the poison. <laughs> well, I think this safely shows us that I don't think this is possible. Even if I got the balance of food and prayer right, I still think I wouldn't have enough prayer. Uh, food, sorry. Because if you look, I'm not even halfway through the kill. I think I'm barely a quarter. Honestly, if we went for these little gits, we'd be fine. I think it's safe to say we are not getting this kill. So, I mean, I've got no more food. The spinal lips absolutely destroy me. I'm getting out of here. But you can't say that I didn't try. We completed a medium task. Nice. And that's exactly why I got the teleport, because otherwise I'd be absolutely dead there. So, we attempted Dagonoff Prime, and that went about as bad as it possibly could have gone. The spine lips absolutely destroyed me. I'm going to show some of the footage of that, but safely put, I don't even think if I got the perfect ratio that we'd be able to get the kill. I think if I get the right regions in the future, obviously I can't get Fremenic next week, but if I get the right regions in the future, I think Rex is a more viable option. The reason I went for Prime this week is because I do had access to Ranging Guild and stuff like that. So, one hour, 35 minutes left. And uh, my objective to kill Prime failed. Not much else to say. I'm pretty sure the only bosses we have access to right now is the DKs, actually. Um, I can't even go to God Wars. I don't have the stats, I don't think. I... Wait, no. Yeah, no, I, I think I need 60 agility or 60 strength. I don't even have either of them, so... Even if I wanted to attempt God Wars, I can't, so... I don't know where to go from here. We uh we drastically failed that kill. I mean, I I used 120, no, sorry, 115 arrows, and I'd done barely a quarter of the health anyway. So I kind of tickled him, really. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'll probably end up going back to BA, and I know that's not what you guys want to see, but I don't really have many other options right now. Okay, so after that demotivational attempt to kill Prime, I've decided I'm not going to do BA. Nobody wants to see any more of that. I'll do it next time we come to Sears Village, because I will need to complete off the collection log, and I'm probably not going to go for the Sharks anymore. I just, I was really hoping I'd get them. They're only a 1 in 32. It's not that ridiculous to aspire to, but unfortunately RNG didn't benefit me this week. So what I'm going to do now is probably spend the next hour of 30 uh, training on Rock Crabs, getting our combat stats up a bit, melee stats. I really want to get these to 65-65 because that will allow us to go into the Warriors Guild and obviously, you know, get defenders. For when we do have a carryover, we can carry over a defender. And uh, with 60 defenses, well, we'll be able to get the Dragon one, which would be a really big carryover to get. So we do need to work on these stats pretty hard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spend an hour and a half doing this and then uh, that's going to be the end of the episode and we'll roll the next region. Uh, as I said before, we cannot roll um, Fremi again because we've had that for two weeks in a row now. And it'll be three weeks in a row, which means definitely no Fremi Trials next week. I can tell you that. Uh, Sears, however, could be rolled next week. So they could be more BA. But all jokes aside, I don't want to spam content of BA. But it is quite important to the progression of this account. And had I've got the Sharks, it would have been a really good strategy. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Right, so uh, that is the, the week over. I kind of wasn't paying too much attention to the time. It just ran out. But uh, we were just about to get another strength level, which kind of sucks. I didn't quite get it. Um, 56 strength we got from that. We will be working our way up to getting the 65-65, as I said before, which will allow us to, the, to do the Warriors Guild and uh, get some defenders. But uh, that is another week done. Unfortunately, we did not get the Prime kill this week. Now, the reason I wanted to go for this originally is because people had been suggesting every time I get Fremming areas to try and go for DKs. And this is kind of why I didn't, because even with decent opportunities and decent equipment that I could get, I still can't get the kill. 
I think Rex is the most likely, but I would need a region that supplies me of runes, because otherwise it's not really practical for me to try and do it. Um, because that way I could take basically entirely food and not really much prayer. I don't know, I'd probably figure out some other method, but I think it's more viable for me to beat Rex. Especially because my DPS would be higher as well. But anyway, that is the week over. It is time now to roll our spins for the next week. We finally, finally got it. It is finally time for some content to actually happen on this series. I'm sorry I've made you all wait, but next week, we have it. Barack.